everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in the light heavyweight division between these two great warriors. Roy Jones Jr. is approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. He's making his way down to the ring. And he does so with a confidence where he knows he put all the hard work in and he's ready to explode inside those ropes. Here we go. It's Hopkins, Roy Jones Jr. Two great fighters. See what Opening happens. round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. We've got a fast fighter on one side here, Teddy, against a high motor guy on the other side. A guy that will be there working all night long. What kind of fight do you expect? Well, I think what you want if you're the fast fighter is you want to relax a little bit. Not go out of the shoot too fast early. Keep it nice and steady and control range a little bit. Devastating blow by Roy Jones. That body work in early. And you see he turned defense into offense, comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Halfway through round number one. Right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. Oh. I guess it's already a sign of things to come. They are not wasting any time toe-to-toe -to -toe in round one. If this is an appetizer, please, please bring on the meal. swelling good counter punch oh. good looking right hand after he got hit nice opening round I managed to stun him you are in control you're in control no effort this is your fight back to fight action as a new round is underway of course in that last round it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Nostradamus to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But Oops. what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Comes right back with a shot of his own. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand score. Yeah, keeps working the body. Just drains his stamina more. He's now at a point in this fight where his defense is going to become crucial. He has to go. protect that eye. The swollen eye is getting worse. Yeah, he does. Wow, he has just taking that much damage already? He needs Surely not. Out there that he could use for an advantage right now. He's got to position himself where I his know, opponent I do. can't My, get uh, to the fighting place where style he can throw does punches lend itself to getting hit a lot. Towards that blind spot where it worked for Rocky vision. Balboa. He's got to keep the fight where that good eye is always able to pick up those punches. He's got to position himself in a perfect way now. Wow, is he defensively sound? Lack of defense starting to be costly now. You can see that swelling. Yeah, and you know, the first thing you think about is he's going to get back to his corner. They're going to put that end swell on it. But he needs to get better defensively. Make sure that it doesn't get worse. No one wants to see defense. <laughs> Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Final 
final 10 seconds of round number two. Junior's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. I think that was possibly his round. I don't know. I'd call it. Don't stand in front of him. Get the complex on that. Yeah, I'll go after that swelling. And round number Bring three that down is a bit. underway. I'm gonna have to fight a little bit more intelligently. And a smart counter punch by Roy Jones. Beautiful job of just timing things there with the counter punch early in this fight. Well, timing, I'm glad you said that, timing, because timing is connected to counter punching. It was a beautiful job. Oh, very nice, smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. I've heard people say about Roy Jones Jr., no matter Ooh, what sport lovely. he was going to apply himself to, he was going to be a pro. He was going to be successful. If he played football, this is a guy that could have been a great defensive back. If he had taken on baseball at a young age, he would have made the major leagues. We know what he would have done in basketball. He's an accomplished basketball player as it is. Do you agree with that? Well, to a certain extent, I do, because obviously he has good athletic genes. He is an athlete. He's a guy that possesses really tremendous physical ability. But his temperament. Finding this one a little bit tougher he's than when I was stubborn, Ali versus Fraser. To prove you wrong and make himself right. He's a guy who's really determined to get but his way. Fun. Oh, oh. it's got to hurt. Roy Jones Jr. hit hard that time. What a solid hook to the body. shot now he gives a left he needs to improve that accuracy miss with the headshot as we come to the end of the round Joe and Teddy with you ringside Teddy that's one of those rounds Gonna where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters yeah very close but one of those rounds where you could steal it you did a little bit more in those last 30 20 seconds maybe that's the impression the judges are left with Up there, two in a row by Roy Jones Jr. What a chin. And can you believe the shots this guy's absorbing? What did we learn about Roy Jones as an amateur, about what he brings into the ring? I mean, the guy went 121 wins as an amateur and racked up as many medals and honors as you could. Well, I'll tell you what we learned about Jones. Very gifted, tremendous talent, speed, and power. Great mix of the two. And he found a way to make wrong right. He breaks the rule books on technical things, on as far as the approach of how you should do boxing 101. He pulls back when you shouldn't pull back. He drops his hands when you shouldn't drop your hands. But he has the speed, the timing, the anticipation, the confidence to make it right. How about that? Back to back he lands by the executioner. This fight's not going my way at all. That worked out really I think going toe-to-toe well. -to -toe with him is not going to work out for me. Oh, man. That two-inch reach advantage he's got is certainly um, making a difference. I'm looking good. I'm getting battered. And we are back underway. Don't know what fight the uh, trainers watch. That's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Now, this is a very exciting fight. It's been evenly fought, but it just has 
the feel of a fight that's going to go the distance. It doesn't look like any one nah, this guy fight's is not going the distance. The no, when somebody makes up their mind, I Someone's am not knocked being out. knocked out. I am staying. They usually stay. These guys are here for the night. Nice combo by Roy Jones. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. This is why we love the sport, Teddy. I mean, this is just back and forth action nonstop. Well, Joe, with special events have happened in history, you remember where you are. Right now, I'm going to remember where I was during this fight. I'm watching a special epic right in front of me. Glad to be here doing it, too. What a war this is. I like that special punch, Roy Jones. And a smart counter punch by Roy Jones. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. He missed with that headshot. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been nonstop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. <laughs> Nice work with the jab on the outside. What a good war this is. Nice round. Been. What a nice round. good, good, oh, solid my fight. God, the, damage. the kind of fight that tells me somebody I'm wants to get rid health. of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Wow. Oh, wow. Roy Jones Jr. stunned and he is hurt. Well, where was this earlier? All of a sudden now you see he's being effective and being aggressive and outworking his man when for most of the fight he was the one being outworked. Well, eating about two dozen jabs, you know what? It can change your mind a little bit. He figures now let the other guy start eating a little. Get off. badly there. He may hit the floor. He is stunned, but somehow manages lucky to man. have the wherewithal lucky, to lucky hold man. on. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. The executioner is not showing us that he understands just how effective he can be if he went downstairs against his opponent. Yeah, well, you know what you're saying, Joe? You're taking a peek and you're taking a swipe without meaning at his trainer because what he's telling you is he hasn't been taught some of the rudiments of boxing that when you hurt a guy you should go downstairs to finish him blocks that belt line well not an accurate hook at all Junior's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good counter from him there. Don't know why I decided to stand there and take that body shot. Wow, look at the damage. The yeah. Like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Got Both guys that. have brought their A game. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war of wills. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue. That's a nice little sequence. Right to the end. <laughs> Really brought at that time a four punch combination. Denies his opponent, comes with the overhand right. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. This is great 
stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that Tie him up. Hey, no holding, oh, yeah. No waste just, a bit on, of time. This is beautiful. Get to the end of this round and get some stamina. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Roy Jones Jr. Really a lot of consistency from him with the right hand. Stamina, I couldn't keep pressing. Gino. No doubt about it there. Roy Jones Jr. getting the best of it. His opponent hurt. And no doubt about it, at least in my mind, that Roy will take his time because that's his temperament. He's not going to rush into no. anything. I'll in save the it. end, he's still a careful guy. Hope a I guy who's going to make sure before he moves forward. And a smart counterpunch by Roy Jones. Teddy, I know he's up on the scorecards here. He's got to be up on the scorecards, but he is getting really pushed here. Yeah, he is. You know, this is a development fight. This is a fight where you come out of it and you get better. That doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes you just get another W. He is learning. That was not well targeted by Roy Jones. <laughs> yes. Oh, and there you go. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Good job on the outside by Roy. Able to score well. I think that was a double Roy stun Jones there, wasn't Jr. it? Being, oh, got, oh him. That got him. That wrecked him right there. He's down for the first time. Yeah, I think I stunned him for a second time, pretty much as soon as the first ended. Shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Able to dismiss it. What a good counter punch by Roy Jones. He defensively sound. Time that very nicely. Right, so here we go. So we'll put twenty-four on that. We'll put twenty on that. He's got to find got a way to, to get play. through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round. Wow. Roy Jones Jr.'s legs look shaky. He was hurt. So far tonight, he was being completely outworked, but now we see him being more the aggressor. Ball was starting to get a little late. He understood he needed to change things a little. This is a really good fight. I'm really happy. Oh. Felt too in control oh, when I was nice. Ali. Smart counter punch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. <laughs> just off the mark with that punch. This is just as much a fork in the road for his opponent as it is for him because the opponent's saying hey i knocked this guy down and now he's completely changed styles does it cause some caution 
in his mind, or does it cause him to say, okay, now I know I got it? Yeah, a little trepidation. I mean, first he's thinking, hey, is there a trick here? Is he set me up here? You know, but there's another part that says, hey, I know this guy hasn't done this before. I've looked at him enough. I've done my homework, and that means I have him in trouble. The executioner is now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in a rainstorm with an umbrella, and, and all of a sudden the wind's coming, and the rain's coming from the side, and you're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Oh. Holy cow! The executioners <laughs> just at the end. Staggered. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense gonna... that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys yep. are not saving anything. Uh, They're going for broke right from I the beginning. Need as much as I can get now. Some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Good defense, just covering up down low. Consecutive shots. Well done by Roy Jones Jr. So, Teddy, so much away. work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. No, this guy doesn't move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. This is really tense. I'm starting to get a bit scared to throw case encounters like that. The twists and turns and the non-stop battle. It continues on as we've reached the one-minute mark to go. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. <laughs> Had been swinging for his head, he could have been in trouble with that one. Good looking counter punch. Roy has always made a point of it to be the more active guy. That if you put forth, he's going to put forth a little more, and the punch stats reveal that. Well, when you have fast hands, what's the sense of having Ooh. speed if you don't use it? He goes about using it. That was a desperation, just haymaker to start the round. Blocks away that headshot. But uh, I caught him. again downstairs he's winning the fight to me based on his overall speed he's just the faster quicker fighter and it's making it so that he's able to employ his ways and get the best of his opponent oh he has that physical asset no doubt about it you can see it but he has to be careful that he doesn't get carried away he doesn't get reckless with that speed Executioners in bad shape. Blocks that punch. All right, stay away for him, from him for the rest of the round, I think. Able to dismiss that body shot. 
Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Come on, take a shot. Carries that punch intended for the head. The executioner's vision is being compromised here. That swelling around the eye is worshiping as the fight continues. I'll throw it all right on the now stamina. He has to use every advantage he can. You're right. He's had a disadvantage. So now he has to position himself in the ring. Every inch of that ring where he keeps his opponent in a place where he can't throw punches towards the bad eye. Where he positions himself where the good eye oh, is. There you go. Roy Jones Jr. is almost out of it there. He was stunned. I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he goes uh, down. He has so I knew as soon as he got me, I was in trouble. Right. Round 12, we've both been down here. once. And if he's gonna stay in this fight, now he's gonna avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. I think I've lost this fight unless I put him down. Listen, he's still being highly competitive, even though you would have to think, if you're judging this fight at all, that he's way behind. Does that give him hope that still there's a chance that he could score the knockout and get this win? Yeah, because his attitude is still there. He hasn't given up on himself. And... Oh, oh no, this is hurt. over. Roy Jones Jr.'s been stunned. Oh, and now yep. the real test. Yeah. Can he get up after going down a second time? bad at these ones. No. It's over. So that's it. Unable to rise up and beat the count. A knockout victory. Walked right into that one. Let's make it official. And for that, we send it up to our ring announcer. He's your winner by knockout, Teddy. Well, we came in wondering whether or not it's Oh, I was winning on the scorecards we as out. well. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We'll see you next time ringside. It was close. But yeah, I could have cruised. Nah. Could have just stayed away from him, and that even after he knocked me down the first time. Good fight, good fight. I enjoyed that.